What the f- Alright, welcome back to another reaction video with Theo to the future. Uh, today we're gonna be reacting to Donkey's new video, Dunk View. All y'all know him, you know. He did a Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart review, or Dunk View. And uh, we're gonna watch that, because I wanted to get that game. But I haven't got it yet, you know, because I'm unsure about it. I don't know if I want to spend money on it yet, but it looks beautiful. I tried playing the 2016 one and I got kind of frustrated because when you're recording it on PlayStation, it doesn't record the cutscenes. And when you're streaming it, it also doesn't record the cutscenes. So I'm like, why am I even playing this thing? Although it was pretty fun while I was playing it. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're going to check out this um, <laughs> little dunk view. I love Donkey, man. He's, he's a funny guy, sounding all black and stuff. He sounds blacker to me. What's up with that? Anyway, let's go. Let's uh, let's just jump into it. And PlayStation Five has been out Play for PlayStation Five. <laughs> all right, we're reeling it back. Okay, and go. PlayStation Five has been out for five eight months, but now. We are finally, finally. The first true PlayStation 5 video game. Is that not ridiculous? Why did I even get it? Because I thought I was going to be cool if I had a PlayStation 5. That's why I got it so early as soon as it came out. Okay, so yeah, this is the first legit PlayStation 5 game. How does it pan out, Dunk? Tell me, Dunk. Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. When you boot this up, you are going to say, It's pretty! PlayStation on its graphics. It's pretty. It's just beautiful. You got it is pretty. Point four octo quad processors pumping out three hundred pixels. Yeah, so much for mega aliasing with real time bump maps. Clearly <laughs> the game you are looking at right now. I love the way this guy articulates and eloquates the wings of his words and is able to pick out and choose the perfect linguistics to get his point across. I love it and I know that he takes his time to write everything down and do it properly and I appreciate it, Donkey. Could only ever be possible on the PlayStation 5. Am I right or am I right? You well, right. Richard, you're never going to trust me again after this. Uh oh! But you just fell for my biggest trap ever. Oh shit! Again, this is actually what? the PS4 game from 2016. Shut it's up! Shut up right now! <laughs> Shut up right now! You're not telling the truth. That can't be true. I was I he I, I fell for it. Spectacular looking game. The Ratchet and Clank series has always been I visual. fell this for it. The PS -tessive scaled action so this is Rift Apart. Expressive character. That's Rift Apart. The varied humming of different types of ships zooming beneath you in purple rain. Dino jungles with mammoth creatures towering. Oh, over. see the that looks cool. Scattered mining planes. This looks cool. You're really gonna want to take your time and absorb all of the little details. Oh shit. Worlds, especially when you get to Mr. Zarkon's Cantina. Oh damn. Mechanical something over here they're playing <laughs> Dude, it looks really good. And uh creatures inside the jukebox. Oh, this is bad. He's kinda making me want to get it. Oh, he's making me want to get it. Oh my gosh. Then you got a sheep sitting at Alden State Drive as this breakthrough technology and Rift Apart pulls attention look at that. to this with its rift opening trick where Just you can seamlessly glide from one That not look one. awesome. This is a cool trick, but Sony Remember all those PS4 games without loading? Uncharted 4, God of War, Red Dead 2, uh, Last of Us 2. These games had one initial load screen and then never again. It that's was true. A continuous experience. That's that true. Not every game figured out load times, but you know what game did? The original Ratchet and Clank on the PS4. Really? It did? The load times are almost non-existent. Really? This was 20 years ago. Rift Apart is an excellent looking Ooh, game. Ooh, look at that. But is this game only possible on the PS5? Oh, so pretty. Eh, I, don't, I don't know about all that. So oh, man. He's proving so, so many points. Still get the shut the fuck up <laughs> out of here with this. Can't even shut the Fuck oh, he's right. He's right. Can I just get some beautiful next gen games, please? Like, if you weren't ready to give us next gen games, why didn't you just wait until you had next gen games to give us? I'll never understand that. Well, I guess I do understand that. Money, 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 money! Money! Platforming and puzzles, and a nice variety of weapons like the ice cube gun and the cool. shooter and the sprinkler that turns enemies into plants. You uh, cool, that's cool as well. Enemies off in midair with your shotgun. 
Whenever okay. I see a TNT I think we button. can all admit that uh, Ratchet and Clank has always been like a fun game. It's fun. That's why it's done so well. It's like there's no other game like it, right? Oh, that looks so much fun. It really looks fun. Some of the most expensive looking rail grinds Look at that. I've ever seen. Ooh. Even with all this going for it though, the repetition starts to creep in. Uh oh. The mark. You uh -oh. have dozens of enemies and skill and your guns chip off parts of the enemy's armor. That's kind of cool. I realized I am playing the G-rated version of Doom Eternal. This comparison <laughs> does <laughs> Shit, and I was just like, there's no other game like it, right? But I've never played Doom Eternal, so forgive me. And Clank, no, every weapon beats nearly every enemy. There's very little strategy at play here. Interesting. There's also a severe lack of variety among enemies, especially for a game that is about going to all these different dimensions. You know? Interesting. The just keeps throwing. Must have fought this big robot guy like ten times. And oh, that's freaking funny. There's a lot of shooting sections. Ay ay ay. This little robot to play a virus mini game. And now here's some more shooting sessions. So let's recap. Grift Apart mm. is brisk and snappy. Dr. Nefarious, the bad guy who always loses. Good storytelling then? Alternate dimension where he always wins. It's definitely a cool premise that is squandered on very boring characters. The whole oh, fun that is rough, Dunk. Is the Donkey, that is rough. In a new light, like Skid McMarks. In the normal dimension, I remember he's him. a laid back surfer dude. But in the alternate dimension, he's a badass secret agent. The alternate oh, really? versions of Ratchet and Clank, though, are pretty much the exact same characters. They have the same weapons. So is that all that is? Is that how that story goes? It's I'm just, you're okay, buddy. it's like a Finn and Fiona too, from Adventure Time thing. Oh, they said the Why same damn thing. <laughs> So you can get around. Why do you go? There just isn't mm. enough emotional heft here to satiate an entire video game. Ratchet I, is I see. By the prospect of finally meeting his lost race of rabbits. Meanwhile, Rivet and Kit both have oh, trust man. issues they have to overcome. I guess the core idea is uncertainty, which isn't a good fit for a story this formulaic. Look at that. Predictable. But it looks so pretty. I apologize. Oh my God, he feels bad even though she was mean to him. What? You came off? <laughs> you came after me. Even though oh I was. But hold up. This hold up. Is... That's what I was just about to say as I pause it. This game is for children, is it not? Is it not for kids? I don't know. E for everybody. Okay, not it's not just for kids, it's for everyone. I stand corrected, Mr. Donkey. For children only. To really tell an effective story, you mm. need to take the audience through a series of different moods. I get you. But part seems to only have one setting, loud. It's me! <laughs> <laughs> when they aren't screaming or shooting or blowing up stuff, then it's the complete opposite. Now, now they're too polite. It's like every other line of dialogue in this game is somebody saying thank you. I'm sorry. Everyone's either like super bad or they or super loud. Everyone's either American or Canadian. Is what I'm getting out of this. I do not get another chance to super loud or super apologetic and like sheepish. They're trying to re everybody's always telling each other how great they are, just really hamming it up with some corny monologue. So, what do you think of playing? Because hmm. no matter how many times he screws up. He's always there when it matters most. This is the PS5 version? How do I rate this game? Well, people love to compare Hold on. Link to Pixar. There's even a Toy Story joke in this game. So I will say Rift Apart is like the cars of video games. What does that mean? Thank you. What does that mean? Is that movie good? I've never watched Cars. Is that a bad thing? You. <laughs> cars 2, actually. <laughs> I still don't know if that was a good thing or not. Damn, bro. I don't know. Like, I don't know about this game. Like, I'm looking at the graphics now and I'm having second thoughts because he tricked me so bad in the beginning. And Ratchet and Clank 2016 looked damn pretty. And I'm also like, I'm almost like, did it look prettier than this version? Because the close ups of Ratchet. And the PS5 version, which I thought were the PS5 version, didn't look as good as the ones with 2016. Donkey, I'm all confused now. Will I get this game? I think the answer is...